It is estimated that the land of Azeroth is around 210 square miles in its surface area alone. That's a huge world, one populated by many different races and cultures. So it should probably come as no surprise that the developers used many real-life influences in its design to make their world feel as authentic and lived in as possible. Some of those influences are obvious, like the statue on Janeiro's Point, which pays homage to the Rio de Janeiro's Christ the Redeemer statue, but some are less obvious. Even inexperienced players are probably familiar with Northshire Abbey, one of the many starting areas in the game. But did you ever notice that the Abbey bears a striking resemblance to Vincent van Gogh's painting The Church It Offers, which is in turn based on a real church in northern France? The world design isn't the only aspect of the game that drew inspiration from outside sources. In the Warlords of Draenor expansion, you may come across an NPC in the Blood Mall slag mines that seems a bit familiar. Chroman the Barbarian is an obvious nod to Conan, but the Easter egg goes even a bit further. You will find Chroman spinning a heavy wheel. This is specifically referencing the 1982 film where Arnold Schwarzenegger's Conan is forced to turn the wheel of pain during his many years of slavery. Conan the Barbarian was created by pulp fiction writer Robert E. Howard, who was a close friend and contemporary of a certain horror writer that Blizzard took even more inspiration from. You may already know that the World of Warcraft mythology owes a great deal to the stories of famed horror author H.P. Lovecraft. Hell, the second part of Lovecraft's name can be found in the game's title. Even the names of some of the old gods are direct references to the old ones, the ancient gods of Lovecraft's mythos. Cthun is obviously a nod to the infamous Cthulhu. However, some of the references go much deeper. Perhaps one of the most interesting allusions to Lovecraft is the sea giant Dagon's eerie similarity to Lovecraft's Dagon, the ancient sea god. But the resemblance doesn't stop there. As it turns out, both creatures are worshipped by humanoid fishmen, Dagon by the amphibious murloc, and the Dagon by the inhabitants of Innsmouth. In Lovecraft's short story, The Shadow Over Innsmouth, a town trades its humanity for immortality and in the process become monstrous fish-human hybrids. Sound familiar? <laughs> Yog sothoth the inspiration for the game's Yog saron is first mentioned in Lovecraft's novella The Case of Charles Dexter Ward. Another reference to that story can be found by taking a trip to Undercity, where you may come across undead rogue trainers by the names of Carolyn Ward, Miles Dexter, and Gregory Charles. Also, the undead warlock trainer's name is Luther Pickman, which is a reference to the title character in Lovecraft's classic short story, Pickman's Model. In fact, the NPC names in Undercity are a virtual grab bag of literary and historical references. The four undead bankers named Montague found in the Trade Quarter obviously refer to Romeo's family in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. But a more subtle nod to the play is the low-level NPC Harbinger Balthazad, a modified version of the name of the Montague family servant who delivered the news of Juliet's apparent death to Romeo, causing him to commit suicide. One of the most well-known architects of the 20th century, Franklin Lloyd Wright, is also referenced in Undercity in the form of an undead NPC named Franklin Lloyd. Franklin trains players in the engineering profession, but uh, you probably could have guessed that. A lesser known literary reference is in the name of the alchemy vendor, Algernon. Flowers for Algernon is a famously controversial Daniel Key's sci-fi story, and to underline this connection, the character holds a flower. There's also two undead innkeepers named Norman and Bates, a reference to Psycho's Norman Bates, a character created by Robert Bloch, who is a close friend and student of, you guessed it, H.P. Lovecraft. Do you know some World of Warcraft historical or literary references that we didn't cover here? Share them in the comment section below and we might include it in a future episode. If you liked this show and its format, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. For those of you who don't know, my name is Panzer and I host the YouTube show Trade Chat. If you'd like to check out any of my videos, there will be links here and maybe in the info below. I don't know. I'm not in charge of these things, so maybe they're going to cut this out. I don't know. I hope you're having a great day, though. Thanks for watching the video. It's getting awkward. Bye!